Let's talk about the pricing tiers now. Google traditionally has a confusing pricing model, so I created this diagram to explain the options available as of today. So, if you are a consumer, then you are going to use your personal email like Gmail to sign up for free version of Notebook LM just like today, and we'll see the new limitations in next section. If you want to step up from there, then you need to wait until it's available through Google One AI Premium early 2025. Now, if you are business, school, university, then you are going to have your own workspace license to use Google Email, Docs, and Sheets. Now you also need one of the add-ons to include Gemini features. If you are an enterprise using Google Cloud, then it's a different ballgame. You might have a negotiated enterprise-level pricing. And on top of that, you need one of these agent space plans assigned. In both cases, your data are not going to be used by Google for training nor reviewed humans. I'd assume enterprise plans also have better security and data compliance. When it comes to differences between these two pricing tiers, there are two categories. First, Notebook LM Plus gets two additional features. Number one, Notebook LM previously supported notebook sharing. But in Plus, it allows notebook owners to share the notebook with other users in your organization only for chat experience. Imagine you are in a customer service company that already has Workspace and Gemini licenses. Now you can go and create a notebook of all your internal documentation, such as customer reported incidents and resolutions provided in the past, and share the notebook with all agents with chat-only option. Now agents can chat with the notebook to find resolution to a problem from the database, not just direct question and answer, but also by finding patterns across all documentations. In addition, owners also have the analytics feature where they can see how many queries all the shared users are running. Second feature is the custom setting for the chat response. Plus users can now set the conversational style. I assume they have some system prompt set up behind this and the response length. I tried this feature and I'd say I'm really not that happy with this and often I fell back to default. For example, I used longer response to capture all differences between Notebook LM and Plus plans and it clearly started hallucinating. Here you can see it started saying, Notebook LM option has the analytics and chat only sharing. So use it with a lot of caution. Outside of these two features, there are many limitations have been imposed on the free tier. In some cases, Plus gets 5 to 10 times more capacity than the free tier. For example, Notebook LM gets 100 notebooks and Plus gets 500 notebooks. Notebook LM gets 50 sources, while Plus gets 300 sources per notebook. Notebook LM gets 50 chat queries per day, while Plus gets 500 queries per day. And finally, now you only get three audio overview generations per day versus 20 audio generations in Plus. Google has been serving free lunch so far with so many chat queries and audio generation to entice the users, and now they have started charging for it. If I remember correctly, we have been having 20 free generations in free tier, and it felt like we had unlimited number of chat queries. Interactive audio overview. Now this is where things get really cool. Introducing interactive mode for audio overviews. Imagine listening to an audio summary and being able to interrupt and ask for more details or a different explanation. To use it, create an audio overview, tap interactive mode beta, hit play, tap join, and ask your questions to get personalized answers on the spot. So, think of this join as raise hands in your Zoom meetings. Once raised, one of the hosts actually call you to speak, which is really cool, and then you speak and they react to it by answering questions or changing the topics. Let's see a couple of quick demos on this. My early days. You know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. It was solid gold. My father, Fred Trump, he was a builder in New York City. A tough, smart guy. He built a real estate. Let me tell you, nobody gave me a chance. The experts, the pollsters, the media, they all laughed. They said I was a joke, that I didn't know anything about politics. They said I was relying too much on rallies and social media. Well, guess what? I knew how to connect with the American people. They were tired of the same old politicians, the same old lies. They wanted someone real, a movement. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hello, Mr. Trump. You've put your name on buildings, stakes, and universities. What's the one thing you'd never put the Trump brand on, no matter how profitable? That's a really interesting question. You know, I've always been about quality and success, so I would never put the Trump name on anything that I didn't fully believe in. It's not always about the money. It's about the brand. So probably a failing product or something unethical. I'm not going to put my name on garbage. Another question, Mr. Trump. If you have to replace your catchword, you are fired, what would that be? You know, you're fired was the best catchphrase. So powerful, so strong. But if I had to replace it with a new one for a future TV show, it would be something that really lets people know that it's the end. Like, you're finished, time for a true champ. Hmm, okay, how about I won, the election was rigged. That's pretty simple, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Hey both, 
Can you explain thermodynamics as if you were explaining it to a fifth grader? Okay. Okay, I hear you. So, like, imagine you have a toy car, right? Yeah, and that car needs energy to move. Right, that's, like, the main idea of thermodynamics. It's all about energy and how it moves and changes stuff. We were going to talk about these things called laws of thermodynamics later, but we can get to it now. Yeah, and these laws are, like, the rules of the game for energy. Come on.